Hey Ange, it's been forever since I've made you a video. I thought I would do a quick one on some chocolates. I made them the other night. We had a little um, health party at our house and we did smoothies and homemade lip balm and some chocolates and so I thought I would just share with you this recipe um, for because there's a few people that came to the party that want the recipe and most of the time I don't use a recipe. I just kind of make it and so then when they ask me I go, oh, I need to make it again and kind of write it down and measure it. So. I thought I'd show you um, kind of how I made it and there's so many different variations you can do with this so you can make it uh, no sugar at all to just very little to as much as you need it it still will be better than what you buy in the store because it can be full of a lot of nutrients so and it's great this is a good recipe for kids so I'm gonna put two cups of coconut oil we're gonna try that and see so you just melt it so my pan's kind of hot because I've been having the heat on for just a minute so this should melt pretty quick here so coconut oil, and you just get it to where it's a, a straight liquid, okay? Now, um, then I'm going to put, and a lot of this stuff's optional, so you can just kind of mess with it. I'm going to put just a little bit of vanilla. This is actually an upgraded vanilla powder from Bulletproof Exact. You don't have to do that. I just, this one I have, it's organic. If you can get organic vanilla, then that would be awesome. So I'm going to put just about a half a teaspoon in. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put a pinch of sea salt because anytime you put that salt in, it brings out the sweetness. So, just this is Himalayan salt, so I'm just going to put a pinch of that. And then I'm going to add my raw, raw chocolate powder. And the one I have right now, this is a pretty common brand. You can buy it almost anywhere. It's really easy to find. It's cacao powder. It's a raw chocolate powder, it says it on it. So you get way more magnesium when you get this raw form and um, it's a lot stronger. It's not as bitter as just regular cocoa powder. You can use regular cocoa powder, but you'll have to, you'll have to adjust the taste a little bit. So I'm gonna put two scoops of that in. We're gonna tr just try that. We might have to add a little more, okay? Then this is raw honey, just right here from Utah. So if you can get raw honey in your area, then you're gonna to wanna to get that, okay? So I know I'm not measuring this again, but the truth is I've gotta just taste it and see what it tastes like. So I can kinda of guess though, I mean I do this kind of stuff enough, I can kinda of tell what's what. So that's about a tablespoon I'm gonna put in, okay? So let's put two tablespoons in of raw honey. Now I don't really wanna cook this, I don't want it to boil, it's raw honey, so I don't want it to get too hot. I basically just want it to melt enough that it all mixes together good. Because coconut oil gets so liquidy, you've got to, um, when you pour this, I'm going to turn the heat way down. When you pour this into your molds, it's going to be like watery. It's not going to be thick, and the honey will kind of sink to the bottom. So you want to keep mixing it kind of as you pour it. And um, you can, it's, I kind of like it. So when it freezes in the little molds, there's a little bit of of the honey right at the bottom of the chocolate and I actually kind of like it. it's almost like there's a filling inside the chocolate okay so right now all we have is coconut powder raw honey cacao a little sea salt and vanilla okay and I'm actually gonna turn it off because it's all melted together I don't know if you can see that but it's just liquidy okay so then this is where you can play around so at my party I put peppermint oil in which I love because I like that like a little bit of mint chocolate so that's really easy and really good um, you can also add orange oil or tangerine or lime or you know raspberry um, whatever you can find I always love to use the essential oils when I do this and you do have to without burning yourself you want to um, you got to taste it because a lot of times with the cocoa powder it can just taste really bitter so that's still not quite sweet enough so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make this one a vanilla like English toffee, um, just because I forgot to bring my peppermint oil out of my bathroom. So instead of doing peppermint, just so I don't have to stop the video, I'm just gonna do this English toffee. So this is the Sweet Tea Leaf's English toffee, okay? So I'm gonna flavor that. And just stir everything together. Now I have my heat off of this pan, it's just pretty hot, and I don't want it to boil, so I'm kind of keeping it off the heat a little bit. Now this is also the secret. So once I've gotten to this point, if it doesn't, sometimes it depends on the chocolate powder. Sometimes right here I'll taste it and it's pretty good. And so I'll just pour it in my molds. But if it's not, you take a bar of your favorite dark chocolate. I always make sure it's 72 or higher. 
take two or three pieces off, put them in the chocolate, this chocolate, and melt it in there. So it adds just a little bit of real chocolate, but you've got all this coconut oil and these good fats in there that you don't have to use very much. So that's always kind of a great, like it makes it for kids especially or other people, if, you, if you're not sure if they can handle dark chocolate or bitterness, for some reason just a couple of the pieces. And I usually just put the Trader Joe's 72 dark because we always have that one for my kids. So let's put a couple of pieces of that in this. Let me grab it. Now you could also even add a little bit of grass-fed gelatin to it if you wanted. That would add a little bit of protein. You could add a little bit of collagen powder to it, which I've done, and that just adds some protein. And collagen powder, what's great about that protein is you can put it in with heat and it doesn't, it doesn't, um, uh, what's the word? It doesn't change it, you know? It doesn't change the reaction. Like if you put whey powder in boiling things, then it does. It does. It, it changes the composition. I can't think of the word, but anyway, so I'm going to put just a couple pieces. So this is just a couple pieces in this two cups of coconut oil, and I'm going to melt that in. So it's just a little bit, but it makes a big difference. Okay, and so while that's melting, I'm going to blow on this just a little bit so I can taste to see it's good. It's good. I like to add a little essential oil. So like I said, if I if I didn't have to go to my bathroom to get it, I would put I would still put a little peppermint oil in this, even with English toffee. I just like that. I think it really brings out a really nice flavor. So all you do, actually I think I'm gonna go get it, but I'll just stop the video because this is all it is. So let me show you. So I just buy these silicone molds. You can get them for like a dollar at the dollar store. IKEA has a lot of them. And I have all I have just all different kinds. I don't I don't um, have to grease them or anything because this is made of pretty much fats, right? Coconut oil fats. So even though it's really liquidy, you just pour really careful, pour them in the molds, and stick them in your freezer. And that's it. So always taste it first. Make sure it doesn't taste bitter. It's not going to taste any better once it's frozen, so it's got to taste good before you pour it in the pan. The other things you can add, so essential oils are key to helping this. You can also add more dark chocolate, more of your little squares if you feel like it's still kind of bitter. You could add some xylitol. I, put, I have mine in this big jar. You could add just a little bit of xylitol or a little bit more raw honey or a little bit of stevia. And um, they're really good. We always pop them in our mouth a couple times a day. And like I did with the fudge, you could even add a little like super ingredients like some um, turmeric or you know any kind of maca you can make some maca chocolate so it's just endless endless possibilities I think this one I'm gonna put a couple drops of peppermint oil and I'm also gonna put one scoop of collagen powder in it so then I've got some protein in it so that would be awesome too okay I love you hope you're doing great we'll see you soon okay bye